Good Lord, well, the rush is over. Man. <laughs> Good Lord, humans. The uh, hubbub for the past hour of these clueless morons trying to get their, their boats up this boat dock. I mean, it has just been absolute mayhem here on what was supposed to be a glorious sunset here over the end times on Wednesday, January, I don't know, are we 24th, 25th, is it Wednesday or Thursday, I can't remember, I've lost all track of day and date, and it's just me and the birds. Me and the birds back again. Uh, you know, all day it's been setting up for this spectacularly gorgeous sunset. <laughs> and uh, in the last 20 minutes of this out of nowhere, uh, I mean, at least it is 82 degrees. And, uh, Sit here and try to get the smell of fucking fossil fuel fumes out of my nose. Ah, oh, man. Peace reigns once again. Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet, eh? rare commodity. What do you think I have for you, little bird? I don't have anything for you. You know that. Gotta bring them some food. These birds keep wanting a handout. Imagine that. Wanting a handout. Don't we all want a handout? <sighs> Mm. Well, I'd imagine there's nothing to rant about. Nothing to rant about. That uh, doesn't happen very often. Here it comes. Brother, Brother Blue Heron joining us. Brother Blue Heron and Brother White Heron does not like Brother Blue Heron. These two have a a rivalry. They are having a resource war. These two guys. So uh And just remember to, <laughs> I don't know why, I can't even remember how this came to uh, something that somebody said, set this off. I, I, I think I've told this very quick story before. Uh, so, you know, my, my mother, Elaine Mitchell, what she was, um, well, she was a shrink, but what she really... Uh, specialized in was called family therapy okay here come the mother and father sandhill cranes without the baby talking about family therapy uh, they have run their baby off and uh, the trio, the trio has become the duo as this family, uh, the family unit fell apart. Uh, so now that the humans have left, the birds can return. So anyway, speaking of, of uh, conflicts with children, so my mother was a family therapist. And so, obviously, she was working on healing uh, 
you know, parent-child relationships and whatnot. So <laughs> she had this mother-son uh, relationship difficulty. I mean, not not with me, uh, but she was she was dealing with this mother and son who were, uh, you know, trying to work things out in his adult years and so they would come down and get in an argument so anyway they so the three of them are in there and my mother's refereeing this uh argument between the mother and the son and the son said the word fart somehow in the conversation the word fart comes up and his mother gets all huffy about her her son using such filthy language. Now, of course, the the word "fuck" was my mother's favorite word in the in the damn language. So, the the so the son, the, the adult son, he uses the word "fart," and it, it sets this uh, it sets this woman off. Uh, you know about his filthy mouth and stuff, and so the the, the guy is exasperated and, and looks at his mother and, and says, "Mama, you don't even know what the word fart means." And she goes, "I don't, huh? Well, where do you think you came from?" Yeah, my poor mother having to uh, weather that. She said she was trying to keep from pissing her pants. Uh, and, of course, the dude just fell out laughing. Where do you think you came from? <laughs> oh, Lord. Where do we come from? We're, we're all just farts. <sighs> I wonder what my mama would say about this cruel sandhill crane couple running off their baby. And uh, I saw that poor baby uh, walking around forlornly this morning, and uh, and I, it, it's it's really amazing how uh, how this has affected me. This <laughs> this uh, baby <coughs> bird getting run off by uh, by its parents and uh, finding itself alone for the first time in its life. I mean, that's got to feel weird. Uh, you know, every day of its life, uh, th this poor bird, it, you know, it, it came out of the damn egg probably, I'm guessing, uh, maybe 10 months ago spent every second of its life within uh, three feet of those two birds. And uh, what was it? Was it two? It was Monday. Was it Monday that they ran that thing off? That might, that might be their baby over there calling forlornly into the setting sign they're not responding back uh, nature anyone who <laughs> think nature is not cruel uh, I mean, n n nature's fucking brutal uh, all of this shit about Mother Nature and the the harmony, the the peace and love and harmony in Mother Nature. She's a fucking bitch.
Mother Nature doesn't give a fuck. Get out there and make your own way in this damn world. Oh, boy. Another exciting night of <clears throat> hanging out alone in Doomsday Trailer, but at least I have a picking party tomorrow night and another gig on Saturday night. So I am at least getting music back in my life, making, playing acoustic music with my friends. Well, I still can, <clears throat> which is more than I can say that I get to do in goddamn <clears throat> New York. Jesus, at least people down here. Like playing music. So I will be spending time with my fellow humans in the next couple of days. But right now, it's just me and the birds wondering what happened to our sunset. Anyway, get out there and then Enjoy your little farts while you still can. And don't trust your mother. As the Lou Reed song says, you can't trust your mother. You need a busload of fate to get by. Bye, guys.